totally... Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. I'm not sure exactly when you're going to be seeing this uh, video, but you are going to be seeing it after the video I did with Lissa on her um, chili. Now, I'm in the kitchen with her again today and if, uh, probably in that video you saw we had done some prep for two different uh, dishes. And what this video is about today, this is going to be Chris Kendall, the Raw Advantages um, pizza. And I am like ecstatic to eat this thing. I mean, it's been really exciting watching the process of making it. And you know, I've seen his pizza a couple of times and I said, that looks really good, that looks really unique. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this. And I probably, I think I could have figured this out on my own, but it's always a little bit better to have somebody there that's good in the kitchen to hold your hand through that first process. So anyhow, we're going to show you the various steps from here on. Um, to that we're gonna do to make the pizza. Like I say, I, um, I shot some of this video, some of this stuff's done out of sequence, so I'm having to tax this old brain to remember exactly what I said in some of those clips out of sequence. But anyway, just wanted to give you a little intro to let you know what we're doing, and I will be t with you in the next step. So we've got a lot of prep tonight because we're gonna make two recipes, one's for tomorrow and one's for tonight. But tonight's is going to be my famous chili and then we are going to prep for chris's raw vegan pizza chris kendall's raw vegan pizza we're going to make that here in costa rica we've got the pineapples the peppers the mushrooms zucchini onion tomatoes and here i am making the cashew sour cream um, for the top of the chili so we're gonna get chopping because we've got a lot of chopping to do but it'll be worth it in the end for sure Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're going to get updated here. Like I say, I'm not sure exactly as I'm doing this. I don't shoot, you know, I'm, I'm kind of uh, spontaneous. So we're kind of working on two recipes right now. But I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to do one for um, the pizza, which is Chris Kendall's pizza, by the way. I hadn't mentioned that before. That... Um, this has done like a great one before too. This one's pizza. Yep, actually oh, I'm focused, this. coming in on the wrong one. <laughs> this is the prep that's pretty much ready for the chili. And that is actually Lissa's recipe for the chili. And by the way, I'm gonna put links to uh, her channel because her books, her recipe books, I'm, I'm sold on them. This is the pizza right here. And what she's doing now is um, Lissa's getting the, this is going to be the base, this is gonna be the crust. And this is just a bunch of zoodles, and I'm gonna let her take over from this point. Oh, and say this where is, we this are. Is, this is Chris's. This is Chris's. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want the recipe, you gotta go watch his video. But this is the base, basically. He's got the uh, zoodles, and then this is the. Uh, basically, we're gonna mix it and then put it on the dehydrator sheets. Oh yeah, you gotta go see Chris for the actual recipe. All I'm doing here to let you folks know is I'm just kinda showing you the process and showing you how good this is. I had never seen anything like this, like using, and I've honestly, I've not done a pizza. The whole time I've been raw vegan, I've not done a pizza, but um, Liz has been telling me about how she learned Chris's recipe, and the, the base is very interesting because it's not quite, the crust is not quite like the other pizzas I've seen because you're not using, um, it's going to go in the dehydrator, some of the stuff, but it's not using like a, Nuts like, like, yeah, like a nut. It's seeds. not like a yeah. solid, like a cracker based yeah. type thing or whatever. So this is real interesting. This is the base that she's making here. And then that's going to, I'll let you tell me them again. Oh, We're going to okay. put it in the dehydrator yeah, for a little for while. Like 18 hours. Like, well, we'll put it in the dehydrator and we'll check it tomorrow morning. Okay. And then we'll flip it and we will put the marinated veggies in the dehydrator, get those a little bit warm. And then once the crust is done, we will add, um, basically we'll put layer uh, lettuce as a barrier, moisture barrier. We're gonna put some tomato sauce on and then the ingredients. And we might make cheese or we might do low fat and no cheese. Okay. And we'll just, yeah, there will be pizzas. We'll put them back in the dehydrator and warm them up a little bit. But. Sounds good. And as I'm watching this segment, thinking about it, this is going to be the segment that's going to go in the, uh, it's going to be about the pizza. I'm just showing you a little bit of our prep that we have, but uh, well, because we're doing both and that's what you do. You, you know, hey, if you don't want to be in the kitchen, we're having a good time. We got music on. We're just talking. We'd be talking anyway. So <laughs> prep food for ahead of time. 
I like to do that. I, I, I could see myself making all this stuff for me in one time and then I'll have food for like three or four days <laughs> and then I don't have to think about it anymore. So anyhow, we'll be back. All right guys, we've got our pizza crust going. It's in the dehydrator. Like we said, this is gonna be an 18 hour dehydration and uh, the next segment of the recipe won't come until tomorrow. So uh, this is gonna be good. I'm really excited about this. Um, I've been, uh, I've been thinking about attempting that pizza for some time, but I think I needed somebody to hold my hand and guide me the first time I do it. So really looking forward to this. All right, guys, I'm going to try not to rush through this segment, but it's going to be very hard. I've been smelling this stuff uh, as it's been dehydrating and simmering all afternoon, and it is just absolutely, a, a, it's overloading my olfactory uh, senses. Um, this is just really, really good here. The pizzas are ready. We've got some extra veggies for on the side, and we've got a nice little salad with a, a creamy uh, garlic, curry i forget everything that was in the dressing but uh because i was mostly concentrating on the pizza all right so now comes the moment of truth i'm gonna taste this thing and i'm being very careful because i don't want to tear it up Lisa did not lie. That's actually <laughs> pizza. I've seen a lot of recipes out there called raw vegan pizza, and I've actually eaten a couple that were very good, satisfying. That's actual pizza right there. All I'm gonna say, if he should happen to catch and watch this video, is that Chris Kendall, the raw advantage, is a raw food guy. I, I bow to you, sir. <laughs> Your skills are uh, just out of this world. I agree. This food is absolutely epic and I am ready to sit down and inhale this. Because I don't condone it, but I've actually restricted just a little bit today. <laughs> 